was wondering if, uh, maybe. And we're live in three, two, one. Oh, hey kids, I'm Christy. And today we're talking about prayer. We talked about how we can pray in any time, anywhere last week. And we talked about how praying is a part of how we stay connected to God. Just like we have good friends and we talk to them, we should talk to God to strengthen our relationship with him. Sometimes I just don't know how to pray or I get nervous when I try to pray. Do you ever feel like that? Tell someone next to you if you ever feel nervous or scared to pray and tell them why. So sometimes we can feel nervous to pray, or scared to pray, or you just don't know what to say. But we should pray because it helps us stay connected to God. That's why today we're learning, I connect with God when I pray. Let's all say that together. I connect with God when I pray. And we talked about this last week too. Prayer is so important, so we're learning it again, but in a different way. Connecting to God is important because it helps us strengthen our relationship with Him, and He wants to be your friend. That's just like our memory verse. It says this, You are my friends if you do what I command. John 15, 14. Don't forget to memorize that verse. I want you to listen today for how we pray to God because it can help us when we're nervous, scared, or just don't know what to say. Anytime you hear the word connect, I want you to do this. Hey everybody, and welcome back to our channel. It's time for the Bluey and Stewie Show, and I'm coming at you live from the treehouse. And uh, I'm coming to you live from my bedroom because I'm sick. <sighs> yeah, it's a good thing we found the, uh, the tin can phone last week uh, so we can talk to each other. Isn't that right, brother? That's right. You know they have cell phones though, right? Aw, oh, but it's not as fun as staying connected through the amazing invention of the tin can phone. Oh, oh. all right, Blue, all right, you're gonna, you're gonna hurt my ears. Calm down. <laughs> what are we doing on the show today anyway? Well, Stewie, I thought maybe we could do some crazy dirt bike tricks today. You know, since you were sick, I, I guess we have to change our plans though, so. Oh, dirt bike tricks sound a lot of fun, brother. Yeah, I think I can get up and go go ride. Let me try. Uh, uh, I can't. Never mind, brother. Uh, yeah. So, um, instead, let's talk about different ways that we can connect with people. Oh, that's an interesting topic. Yep. I'll name one way we can connect with people, and then you name another. All right. We'll stop when someone can't think of any more. Ready? Uh. All right. Uh. Writing a letter. Uh, texting someone. Video calls. Uh, Morse code. Phone calls. A pigeon. Email. Uh, cake painting. Drone. Ooh, what about a smoke signal? Direct message. Mm, telegraph. Social media. Radio. Virtual reality games. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, uh, uh I can't think of any more, brother. Uh. Oh, uh, Stewie, I think your brain might be a little foggy from all that sickness. Uh, you were thinking of some really old ways of connecting with people. Well, uh, aren't, aren't they uh, still ways of connecting, though? Oh, yeah, I mean, just if you're weird. Uh, oh, well, brother. You know, I think I might need to lay down and take a nap soon. 
Okay, uh, you know, I was gonna say that one way we can connect to God is through prayer. And, uh, you know, that's important because... Oh, uh, I guess it's time to sign off. Uh, bye, everyone. Hey, kids, I'm Kyle. Last week, we talked about praying and connecting with God all the time. We should pray and never give up. Our God is so amazing. He hears us and listens to us and knows what we need. And we can talk to him anytime and anywhere. You can talk to him when you're on the playground, in the car, eating food, and when you're going to sleep. You can talk to God anywhere. He just wants to connect with you. We talked about how when, when we have a good friendship with someone, we talk to them a lot. Think of your closest friend. Think of your best friend. How many days a week do, do you talk to them? How many times a day do you talk with them? Tell somebody around you your answer. I talk to my best friend a lot, and we have a great connection because of that. Well, God wants to be connected to you just like that. He wants to be your friend, and he wants to talk with you. So today we're learning, I connect with God when I pray. Let's all say that together, everyone. I connect with God when I pray. Wait, didn't we just learn that last week? Well, this one is so important that we're learning it twice. So I know you'll be able to remember it by the end of today. We're going to talk about how we pray. And the amazing thing is, Jesus tells us exactly how we should pray. This Bible story is a great way to remember how we can pray. And this is sometimes called the Lord's Prayer. And as we read it, we're going to talk about how we pray for each part of it. Okay, so let's read in the New Testament in Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. Pray like this. Our Father in heaven... May your name be kept holy. This is how we should start our prayers. We know who we're talking to, so we address him. We say, dear God, or maybe you've heard others say, dear Lord or dear Jesus. There are so many ways that we can address him. On your talk notes, circle the way you like addressing God when you start your prayers. I like to say, dear God, but it could be different for everyone and it can change every time you pray. We just want to start with one of God's names so that we honor and respect him. The next part says this, May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus is teaching us to pray for God's purpose or his plan to be done in our lives. Sometimes we try to make our own plans for our lives and it can get messy because we're not listening to what God wants for us. So we pray and ask him to help us see his amazing plan. Then we pray this, give us today the food we need. Jesus is teaching us to ask God for everything that we need, not just food. God takes care of us and he wants to help us all the time. He gives us the things we need in life so we can thank him for everything he has given us. Okay, next we pray this, and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. Each day we are to confess or admit the things we have done wrong or sin in our lives. Then we ask God to forgive us of our sins. If we have hurt someone, we apologize and ask that person to forgive us. If someone has wronged us, we must be willing to forgive that person. Admit any sin in your life and ask for forgiveness. Last, we should pray this. And don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. This is a prayer asking God to protect us against our enemy, Satan. 
If we believe in Jesus, we don't need to be scared of Satan. But we do need God's power to protect us from him. Satan wants us to sin, and that's doing bad things. But God, God is greater, and if we ask him to help us, he will. I connect with God when I pray. Let's all say that together, everyone. I connect with God when I pray. God doesn't think that we're annoying. He wants us to talk with him. He wants us to connect with him. Can you have a good friendship when, when you're not talking to the other person? No, not really. We have to connect with each other to get to know that person better. And we can get to know God better when we pray to him. Jesus shows us how we can pray. And there are other things that we pray about and thank God and praise him. But if you ever feel scared to pray at all or nervous or you're not quite sure how this whole process works, just think of what Jesus teaches us. All right, so here we go, let's review it. So number one, address God with his name. Then we pray for God's plan to happen. After that, we thank him for providing everything for you. Then we ask for forgiveness for the bad things we do. And finally, we ask for God to protect us against Satan. I connect with God when I pray. Let's all say that together, everyone. I connect with God when I pray. All right, in a minute, we're going to connect with God through prayer. We're all going to pray together. But maybe, maybe you want to start your friendship for the first time with God today. You want to make him the leader of your life. If you're making that decision today, that is so awesome. You can do that right now. Just pray with us and ask him into your heart. So right now, let's connect with God as we pray together. Dear God, thank you. Thank you for everything you have done for us, everything you provide for us. You are amazing. And please protect us from the evil in this world. And Lord, I want to make you the leader of my life. So come into my heart and change me. Be the leader over my life. Amen. If you made the decision to make Jesus the leader of your life, then tell a leader or tell somebody around you. And don't forget to connect with God. You can connect with him anywhere and anytime. All you have to do is connect with him through prayer. I connect with God when I what? Pray.